What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. Today I'll be unboxing the Coleman uh, Classic Stove. This is the Coleman Classic. It's a propane Coleman Classic Stove. I got my my older tripod I had set up. I was like, man, why am I always trying to finagle stuff when I had that older tripod? And I got my phone down there. Going boondocking, this is one thing I swear by. These are worth their weight in gold right here. I should do an unboxing of this itself, although it's unboxed yet. But this is actually a table. It, it is a table that you can fit in the trunk of a car. You can fit it in a... And we're going to go in the van. And this thing is so... We don't have to have a big six-foot table with us in the van. And we got a decent-sized table here. So I'm setting this up right now so we can unbox this Coleman stove. But if you get a chance and you're going to be boondocking, pick one of these up. They're worth their weight in gold. Uh, 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 here we go, and it locks down here, alrighty, locks right here, one of you, alright, locked in place, okay, why I'm in the front room doing this unboxing, because we're gonna, also in the next video, we're gonna unbox those trifold beds, four inch trifold beds I picked up for the van for when we go boondocking, but this is the Coleman Classic Stove right here, I don't know if you can see it pretty good right there. Coleman Classic, it does a, it has a 12 inch pan and a 10 inch pan with it also. And it's a propane one, there's no more uh, kerosene. Remember the kerosene ones that you had to pump the kerosene to get it through there? So I did purchase a, a, a regular coffee pot to take with me. Now with our 48 volt battery, we can actually have the Keurig on. And if we plug into anywhere, I can run a Keurig, although, I mean, just that's being crazy because I always say about consumption, just like saving money with battery consumption. It's just crazy when I could heat up my coffee with a propane, a one pound propane can and still have more propane left than to exhaust a lithium ion battery just to uh, heat up some, some coffee. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Yo, here we go. Yo, here's the box. Might be some instructions. I should save that. Here's the other part of the box. These are a lot thinner. Remember how big they used to be? If you're a camper, they used to be super fat. This is how thin it is now. That is how thin it is, okay? Two knobs right here, propane two burner, and here's where the, uh, that's where the propane, uh, and propane accessories get screwed into. So we're gonna open this up right here. Here's your directions. Here is your, uh, oh, they got them together. No, oh, stuck in there. Let me get it up. Okay. Here is your grate with your propane. Is this an adjuster? No, this just screws it. Oh, it should be able to screw on tape. We'll figure that out when we get there, okay? Now, this right here, these are to block the wind. Man, at the marina, we got a regular full grill, and sometimes that wind is atrocious. There's little slots on the side, and you can adjust how far out you need these or want these, so they're pretty cool. They're, all you do is push them in. This is very clean. I mean, look how clean that is. That's like awesome, super duper cooper. Okay, so I got my, what was this? My CA, CRKT Minimalist Survival Knife, if you're watching me. I know I got bad head, I always got bad head, right? Wait, this guy does the Evercomas here? I've been working so much trying to get these uh, curtains to stick in the window with Velcro. It's unreal, I can't get this dang Velcro to stick on. So, okay, there's little, I call them picos. There's little things right here that just go right into the holes. Boom, that is done. Da -da 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 now, we, uh oh, what was that? Ah, the instruction book was that. The instruction book was that heavy. Okay. So this goes onto the propane can, and this goes in here. There's a little, little, little thingy right here. Alrighty. So I'm gonna probably see if I can swing it around in here. Oh, this spins. See, spins. It's pretty crazy because I'm watching this on my like a uh, preview on the phone right below where I'm talking and uh, Come on work with me here Okay, and uh, it's delayed over there compared to over here Okay, now the brass piece is screwing in right here pretty good pretty easy Pretty 
Okay, now this is where the cane goes. I want to screw one in for you right now. Let me go get it. Just why not? Hey, why not? Yeah, right. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this is where... Can you see it in there? You can't even see it in there. That is where the propane is going to get screwed onto right there. Right there. I see it. And here's the propane can right here. So all it does is get screwed into right there. So let me... Do that there right now. Okay. And the cane just leans down right there. Let me put it down for you to see better now. Okay, can you see better now? Alrighty, so there you are. The, this isn't a button to turn or nothing like that, it's just to hold it. And then this screws in right here. I brought this because I don't know if I'm gonna need can you see me? Can you see me get down? I brought this because I don't know if, it, if this clicks. So you think it's going to click? Nope. Sure does not click. You do need a lighter. Can't even get this to light. You turn them to the... Uh... Oh man, I can't get this one to turn. There it goes. There we go. That is a pretty good burn right there. That is a pretty, look at that burn. Ooh That's pretty beautiful. Coleman two burner propane stove. These are the knobs right here, shut them off like this. This just screws right into there, right into there. And it says Rahuchad Daru Propane. Rahu Chadaru Propane. Okay, either way, that right there is the Coleman two burner propane stove. So the flame is off right now. Let me put that right there. I get back over here now. The flame is off right now. Uh, it works awesome. These right here, you just squeeze the buttons, you take them out, and you fold it in. So this one right here, squeeze the button take it out i'm gonna see if it'll hold down the uh gr the grate yep holds down the grate right there pretty oh i gotta take this off and put it in though okay so no flame no fire everything's off let me get this off right here trench this right here is off so let me get you a little bit lower okay this right here just unscrews don't over tighten this down don't over bog this down you don't need pliers or nothing like that it's just hand tight comes right off see nice brass fitting this actually was there's a place right here that it was in to go in the middle let me see and it snaps right closed this is the new coleman propane stove this is the 43 dollar one this isn't the old dark trail one so sleek you could just put this right away does a 12 inch pan a 10 inch pan let me get down in here picture it is pretty awesome that's the unboxing of that so this is going to go camping with us. This table is going to go camping with us. And next, stay tuned because I'm going to unbox our mattresses for the van. The boondocking van, the bug out van. We got dark curtains all the way throughout the van that you can't see in and people can't see out. And LED lights. And it's going to be pretty cool. Follow, follow along. Bye.